Hello everybody and welcome back to another YouTube video. Still looking at the Kaizen CTF. Now moving on to some of the forensics challenges that I want to show off to you. The first one was called Stegosaurus and it seemed like a lot of people struggle with this. I know I did. It was awesome. One of my teammates actually solved it. But we found this lead initially and we didn't really know where to go with it. Um, but then my teammate just like came in out of nowhere and, and, and solved it and got the flag for us. So that was awesome. I want to showcase it to you guys and show you what the solution was. Um, the challenge is that the security team found an odd file in a nightly system of backups. Uh, what secrets could it hold? So we get this Stegosaurus zip archive, which we'll go ahead and download. I'll create a folder for it. Stegosaurus. Just go ahead and save it in there. We'll hop back over to our terminal so we can start to look at it. Go ahead and unzip it. Stegosaurus. And we get this JPEG file. So if I take a look at it, here it is. <laughs> Stegosaurus. So I tried to go through the low-hanging fruit. I ended up using like StegSolve on it, StegSolve.jar. Um, we use Formos on it. We use Scalpel. We use Binwalk. Um, some of the things that were interesting when we use Exif tool to get metadata out of it, we ended up using, um, we saw this interesting thing in the artist field because, hey, this is base 64. So we ended up taking that. I'll just do it in the command line, actually. I won't open up idle. And when we decoded this base 64, it was clear to us this was base 64 because of the uh, equal sign, by the way. That's always a telltale sign. It's it's base 64. So we decoded it, and we got the string Jurassic. And we thought, like, oh, is this the flag? So we went ahead and tried to submit it like that, or we, would, we wrapped it in that, like, Kaizen flag format. But that wasn't the flag. It didn't work for us. Um, we asked around the RC channel, just kept banging our heads against the wall, just couldn't get it. Um... But we knew, hey, it's a 100-point challenge. It can't be that hard. So we're just trying other steganography tools. We looked up, is there like a stegosaurus thing on GitHub? Is it like, it is stegosaurus itself a steganography tool? But what my teammate ended up trying was he used steghide, which is also an awesome thing for looking at steganography things. You can check out the man page for it. And you can, it's in your repositories. You can just download it and pseudo app get installed if you wanted to. Um, so what he ends up doing is he ran steghide with info, the info argument on that stegosaurus JPEG file. And it's a JPEG file and it had all this. And it says, you want to try and get information about this? And we go, yeah, of course we do. So it asks for a passphrase. <laughs> and that was when we had that, or my teammate had this epiphany and this idea that, oh, 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 Jurassic must be the passphrase for it. So we entered that in, and of course, it has this embedded file in its secret.txt. So we want to take a look at that. We want to know, okay, that's got to be it. So we do extract, and we specify the uh, secondography file of Stegosaurus. We enter the passphrase here, Jurassic, and now it writes out that secret.txt file. So we can ls to see it. Now we can cat and out, and there's our flag, Kaizen Dino Save Roar. So <laughs> we were banging our heads against the wall on that one for a really long time. I don't know why, like, we should have known, but I honestly, I've never used Steghide well before. I knew it was a tool, but I never particularly used it well. I didn't know how I could use it. So it was my teammate that brought it to me, and I'm just happy and really astonished and awesome. It's awesome that he got it. So cool. Uh, I want to share it with you guys, though. That's how you ended up doing and solving the Stegosaurus challenge problem in Kaizen CTF. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy this one, and we'll move on to uh, the next couple of challenges in later videos.